Hey, y'all. Hey, everyone. Whoa, that effect is much stronger than I realized. This is... I feel like we're developing film. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Murder Mystery Wednesdays. Thing. I feel like it should be Monday just for the alliteration, but it's Murder Mystery Wednesdays. Yeah, it was Murder Mystery Monday for a long time. Or for six weeks. Mm. But now it's... Now it's... Blair Witch Wednesday. Witchy Wednesday. Witchy Wednesday. We're back to Hunt Said Witch. Is the music on? Uh, it is now. Yes. Okay. Can we... I feel like I'm gonna... Like, yeah, you're yeah, triggering yeah, yeah. my yeah, ADD, yeah. buddy. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. I just wanted a spooky start. Okay, thank you for that. I love a spooky start. So this reminds me, like... When we first got married and I moved into Jeremy's house, this room that we're in right now was like bright yellow, beautiful, lovely. We covered it up with lose yourself black, but the living, the, the kitchen and the dining room were red and I hated it. And I would just be like, Jeremy, I feel like I'm in the shining, like it's triggering. <laughs> I can't do this. And he was like, well, we'll change it at some point. We'll change it at some point. Like, it'll be fine. Like, your your discontent has been logged. Noted. Um, COVID comes. We go in lockdown, baby. Like, two weeks later, we have beige walls is all I'm saying. I was like, I'm going to jump out of my skin. I didn't paint it. Like, it came that way. <laughs> I, I didn't know. choose that color. I know you didn't choose the red. <laughs> but it literally was like blood was coming out of the walls. It looked like... This Coke can I was like, this is terrible. We, uh, at my old house, we had an orange wall. Ooh. It was weird. And we also had a yellow and blue room, which, uh, Predator's colors. And it was like mostly yellow. Favorite room. You said, you said Predators, meaning Nashville Predators. Yeah. I thought the Predator. And I'm like, blue and yellow for the Predator? <laughs> Those two things match up. <laughs> I mean, this was mustard yellow. and like It was gorgeous. But, but like... Like deli mustard, kind of brownish yellow. I, I like <laughs> deli it mustard here. yellow. Yeah, like um, that picture looked great in here. Y'all oh, can't that. see it; it's off camera. Mm -hmm. um, but it looked great with our navy wall too. <laughs> anyway, enough about the red. Sorry, like it just it triggers. <laughs> Don't prepare anything bad. Right <laughs> Are you ready to hunt some witches, dude? We're doing Blair Witch this week. Witches I not... get stitches. That's funny. <laughs> I like how Wendy funny. laughs and Kristen just goes, that's funny. <laughs> I, appreci like, I appreciate both. Kirsten's like, I'll take both. LOL. <laughs> I've always told Wendy, I don't care if you tell me some other dude is hot. It's when you tell me some other dude is funny that we have a problem. These are true facts. My favorite picture of Jeremy, that's like not like a serious picture, is I told him... That our friend told really good dad jokes. You said you specifically said he was better at it than me. And I had the camera at the ready, and I caught the facial expression <laughs> of the like death stare that I got. I mean, it was like I told him like I'm leaving. I've been having an affair. I'm leaving. <laughs> he was so mad, but it was true. Not anymore. Give up your game. Well, I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> and for those of y'all that weren't here last week, this is Kirsten. Hello. She is doing um, the Blair Witch with us. Whoops. And last week we found some creepy shit in a notebook. We found some creepy shit in a notebook. That took a long time to dig out. <laughs> I'm hoping that this week won't revolve as much around decoding things. Cipher. Let's find out. Cryptological. There's a makeup bag. Is it probably not a makeup bag? We don't know that much about this kid. That could be why he ran away. We don't oh, know. Fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> I think we know a little bit more about this kid. I needed there to be lipstick in that. Um, this is uh, episode two. We didn't say that. Okay, we have incident reports. Her wonder. Stop it. Stop it. 
Stop it. I just wanna be friends. I will bury you in the yard. <laughs> Please just like just like rock her awake really quick in the middle of the night and start talking like that. She sleeps with a hatchet next to her yeah, bed. A tactical tomahawk. Anything. Yeah, I'm like, so. not a hatchet. It's a tactical tomahawk. So maybe don't do that. Yeah, no, I can I can cut down a wall with that thing. <laughs> it's military grade. Why are you so dangerous? I don't even do that, man. Like. <laughs> she wants so, to trap anytime we go somewhere. She wants to take it with her. Yeah, I'm like, Jeremy, can I take my tomahawk? Oh, um, I have. I can have, check it. <laughs> we had in uh, at the hotel one time. I walk in and I was like, "What is underneath this?" And I like shake out pillows and stuff like that. Somebody had taken a knife from the kitchen and put it under their pillow and slept with it and then left it in the bed. It was. I was like, I mean, if I what? didn't feel that, if like I went to go find a knife that was already in the building to sleep with, I wouldn't stay there. No kidding. Um, but I for probably the record, it was not like like there's no reason to feel that way at our hotel. For the record, <laughs> <laughs> like, your, your hotel is like super nice. <laughs> um, I'll be honest though, if there are times where I've traveled alone, where I will sleep with, I could stay at a Ritz Carlton, and I would not feel safe um, in a place by myself. And I love to travel alone, mm -hmm. so I would always have something. Not under the pillow, because that's going to take too long to get. Like, something close by that I yeah. could use to defend myself for all of the murders that happened. <laughs> the only time I've ever felt like that was at a hotel in Seattle, and that wasn't until after the fact. And then I wish I had slept with a knife. Our hotel, um... <laughs> We were, like, freshly vaccinated and, like, ready to, like, party. So, like, first things first, we get vaccinations, like, two or three weeks. You have to wait after the last one. And we were like, here we come, Seattle. Give us some edibles. I've got a good friend that lives there. We're going to go do that. Like, we hadn't taken a honeymoon yet. It was our first time really, like, going out of town after getting married a year and a half before. And we get there at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. So we had just booked a, at the hotel mm -hmm. And I had to work the next morning. So I'm down in the lobby, just like, boop, 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 boop. and Jeremy comes down and he's like, good morning. And I'm like, hi. And I'm like, I'm just got, I've got like another hour. I've got to like wrap things up. It'll be fine. And he's like, okay. And he got something to drink and went back up to the room. And then I get a text. We're getting the fuck out of here. Pack your shit. I was like, oh my God. Just immediately close my computer. <laughs> and I'm like, leave it a little early today and go back up to the room. Jeremy's like furious. I'm like, I'm the hothead in our in our family. Jeremy's the calm, cool, collected one. So like when Jeremy's mad or like visibly like befuffled by something, I'm like something bad has happened. When oh, he I got was back ready up, to take heads. When I, he got I, back up to our room, he just turned the doorknob and walked in. Um No key card required. No key card required, but luckily for us, he travels with the person who's expecting to be murdered at every turn. So I have door stoppers that go under every door um, when I'm when I'm traveling. We travel with two because you never know if there's gonna be like a patio door. Yeah. We sent some to college with Lily. It was like, take these, put them under your door, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> for murders. Um, I so like when we were sleeping, we were sick, but like it was so freaky and then go to the front desk and are like, Hey, so our door is just open. Anybody can go in. And the lady was like, cool. And just went on about her day. <laughs> and then they sent Jerry a survey. Know. They know, already know. Yeah. She's like, I'll tell maintenance. It's like, okay. <laughs> I thought you called Kirsten when that happened. I did. I talked to you about yeah. it, yeah. but this was 2021. Wasn't We've lived yeah. through like a second wave of, pa of a pandemic. We've gotten married, we've gotten divorced, was, people have had babies, people have lost I was sweat. ready. I was ready to kill somebody on the spot, and then those <laughs> MFers, literally within an hour of leaving that place, I get a text message, leave us a review about your stay. You're like, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like... Oh, okay. I'll fill out this review, motherfuckers. Buckle up. <laughs> and then within an hour of him sending that, I get a ding on my credit card app where they had refunded our stay. <laughs> I got a phone call. A 
phone call from someone being like, oh my god, I'm so mm-hmm. sorry, this shouldn't happen, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm saying is, don't stay at Radisson's. <gasps> What I'm saying is, Jeremy's not afraid to go full Karen. (laughs) I love it. Anyway, Blair Witch. Remember when we said we were going to be faster this time? I was like, thank God. I think someone else is picking up my kid. (laughs) We can be faster. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just teasing you. We have to start here. Oh, okay. What is, oh, this is the letter? Yeah. Letter it f- always starts with a letter. Letter from the mom. Uh, detective, after going so long without any leads, finding Liam's things in the basement of the History Museum has filled me with so much hope and so much fear in equal measure. As wonderful as it is to have found something of his, I can barely bring myself to look at the second set of handwriting that scrawled all over his papers. Who was talking to Liam down there, and what the hell did they say to him? It's nauseating to think about my son in the cold and the dark being fed poison by some manipulative creep. When I was in that basement, something felt wrong about the place to me. I felt like I was being watched the entire time, and when I went to pick up Liam's things, I swear that I felt something on the back of my neck, almost like a hand brushing against me. There was nobody there when I turned around, of course, but it almost gave me a heart attack. Once I pulled myself together, I showed the sheriff everything you helped me find. But just like every other time I've tried to get him to do the damn jo- do his damn job over the past few months, Lanning told me the evidence wasn't sufficient to justify putting more resources into Liam's case. Is Rosemary become an ACAB? Maybe. Uh, not only has the sheriff flat out refused to start organizing any more search parties to come through the forest, he didn't even process anything from the basement as evidence. He left everything I found with me. He told me to be thankful to have a few new mementos of my son, some things I could keep close. If he thinks I'm going to sit back and let this happen, he's got another thing coming. I'm sending you everything that I've found down there and more. Try to pay special attention to the notes with those symbols on them. When I say that they're strange, I don't just mean that because I can't make heads or tails of them. Whenever I try to look at them for too long, I feel a sharp pain in my temples and something happens to my vision. The symbols start to look as though they're moving, crawling around the page like insects. I don't know how to explain that. I guess I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping well. Hopefully you'll have more luck with them than I did. The notes aren't all of what was down there, though. There's something in Liam's pencil case, something that I think you need to see for yourself. There was also something from Hudson in that basement. I have no idea how it found its way down there, no idea at all, but reading it was like a punch in the gut. I also asked Anthony if anything strange had been happening at the museum recently. He made me promise that I wouldn't call him crazy and then gave me a a few reports of odd incidents from the weeks before Liam went missing. He didn't show them to Lanning during the initial investigation because he knew that the sheriff is even less open to suggestions of the supernatural than I am. To be clear, I'm still extremely leery of the notion, but I can't ignore any possible explanation at this point. At the end of the day, among all of this strangeness, we know two things for sure. Someone was talking to my son in that basement, and we need to find out who it was. I need you to find the name of the person Liam was talking to and send it to me through the tip line at kickcase.com. I've uploaded a new password to ensure that all this new information stays secure. The new password is... We've finally got a concrete lead. Let's make the most of it, Rosemary. I just realized we're literally looking for Rosemary's baby. Oh! All right, Miss Cryptographer. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, so these have words on them. Yes. But I think that this has something to do with this other thing first. Ah. The Perkinsville History Museum. Yeah, because it has some of these. I'm attaching a photograph of carvings I found as evidence. So. Uh, do we know what our website is? I don't think we'll know is? anything about these carvings until... Kitcase.com Ah, uh, yes. And the password is... And we... He had, like, a cipher on, uh, last week, but those symbols don't look like his symbols? Yeah. I don't mean, like, the backwards alphabet. I mean, like, the one that he had drawn in the front of his notebook. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the A, B, C, 
Mm -hmm. Like in the triangles or whatever. Yeah, this looks more complicated than that. It does. Probably got more Facebook posts. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, is this showing on the screen? No. I'm gonna go let the dog in. Uh, okay. If she starts acting up, she's going right back out. I know she is. You don't have to tell me, Perk. Sit. Behave yourself. Hey. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> that includes not knocking the camera over. Okay. Good luck. Um. Yes, we have new Facebook posts from Donald Cohen, Wicked Woods. I advise that no one step foot in the Black Hills Forest. Lately, when I go on hikes in those woods, I notice the trees are different. They aren't in the same places I remember. I know those woods. I've been taking hikes there every Sunday morning for the past two years. I know them like the back of my hand, but lately it feels almost as if the trees move around when I'm not looking, and that the path I always follow never takes me to the same place twice. Is he the guy? What was his name? Uh, Donald Cohen. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't recognize that name. No, uh, the guy from the thing is Elliot Coulson. Okay. Uh, Alexander Johnson says, it sounds to me like you're having a few down at Patrick's before your hikes. <laughs> to which Donald replies, piss off, Alexander, I know what I'm seeing. Uh, and Karen Schultz, I believe you, Donnie, something's wrong with those woods, and it has been for centuries. You know, I've had nightmares about them ever since I was a little girl. About lurking hairy creatures and trees whose branches carve into my skin like knives I've been dreaming things like that since I was five years old which was a long time before I ever heard any of the stories about the place there's no earthly explanation for that uh, Elias White says I was just out in the forest for the first time finishing with my fishing with my son and he wouldn't stop begging me to leave said he saw a woman staring at us but I don't see a thing so he moved downstream after settling in the new spot, my son began screaming and crying. Again, he said he saw the same figure hanging from a tree. Ooh, nope. And, and every time I looked, there was nothing there. He's usually such a level-headed kid. I don't know if the woods are cursed, but I won't be going back. Kudos for this man for listening to his kid, though. Yeah. I mean, it took him a minute, but yeah. Eventually. <laughs> uh, Andrea Tan says, you're just searching for a reason where it might not exist. People have strange dreams when they're stressed out or when they're sleep deprived or when they eat something that doesn't uh, entirely agree with them before bed. I don't think the Black Hills Forest is wicked or cursed or anything like that. Uh, Donald Cohen says, uh, then how do you explain the trees? How do you explain that missing Kent kid? To which Diane Moss says, you know my cousin Michelle? She was hanging around the History Museum the other day and she overheard Anthony Rapino talking on the phone with someone about an investigator from out of town. Not sure what he meant by that. Maybe FBI? Finding new evidence that proved Liam was hanging out in the History Museum before he disappeared. Apparently he sounded pretty upset. <gasps> I don't know why Sheriff Lanning hasn't brought him in for further questioning. That's us. We're the FBI. I know, it took me a second to realize it too. <laughs> Uh, Melvin Hawthorne says, probably because it's a lost cause, that boy has been gone for months. There's no point in questioning anybody anymore. Oh. Uh, to which Elliot Coulson says, no, those symbols are sigils. I'm telling you all, it's the witch. All right. Okay. Okay. Can I read this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so these are incident reports from the Burkittsville History Museum. Dude, Anthony Rapino is a little sketch, but I'm still I'm still not sold that it's not the cop doing something. It wasn't me with my knife. I can't read in those. If you wanted in that, you can do it. It's, it's okay. an incident report. I don't think it's in his voice. I can read it in my news anchor voice. Okay. Um, 
late last night around <laughs> I'm, just I'm sorry. Um, sidebar, we watched a movie last night called Ghost Watch. Mm -hmm. It was a ma I texted about it in the French chat. I it was like a made for TV movie in 1992 on the BBC and like people didn't know that it was fake and because it had like real newscasters and yeah, stuff in it. And stuff. And, like, they said it was the biggest, um, at the time, it was the biggest recorded causer of childhood PTSD. What? From, like, media. Um, and it was, like, very British. And, like, but it cracked me up because the newscasters, I was, like, if I didn't know that this was, like, War of the Worlds in the 90s, the newscasters seemed so disinterested and everything, like... They didn't talk in their newscaster voice. They'd just be like, last night, ugh. Like, they were so bored. And I was like, I guess that's just British. And so I texted, we have a friend from England, and so I texted the friend chat, but she just was like, not responding. No, <laughs> I was no. like, I need to talk about it. Where are you in 1992? Do you remember this? Like, because they aired it live. Mm -hmm. And they had on Halloween night. On Halloween night. Halloween and they night. had yeah. a phone number on the screen that you could call with like ghost stories that you had seen and people would call, it was an actual number and they had like people there like manning the phones oh my as gosh. people were calling in. And the first thing they would say is this is not real, but you can still share your story with us if you yeah. want to. Um, but people still like were not convinced that it was yeah. fake. It caused like mass <laughs> oh hysteria. God. Yeah, it's really fascinating. That's crazy. Really yes, and like we learned like there's things British People call things that we have different terms for here. Like the whole thing centers around this like storage cupboard under the stairs okay. um, called a glory hole. And Didn't think I was going to hear that word repeated several times by a bunch of posh British people. <laughs> and the guy, the ghost name was Pipes. So they were like, we know Pipes in the glory hole. And we oh, just God. were like... <laughs> we can't and the glory hole was like full of cats and so you kept hearing like all of these meows coming out and like me and Jeremy were like crying we were can't laughing so hard up. the movie was great but like I was like I need like a British translator here so like we were googling through a lot of the words today because I was like it doesn't make any sense <laughs> <laughs> well and it, I mean there's a direct line from that to the Blair Witch like that it's one of the it was earliest... an inspiration for the folks that made the Blair Witch Project yeah well I mean the, the, the term found footage movie didn't exist when that came out but it's one of the earliest examples of something like that yeah so it was interesting, but let's uh, let's hear about the Burkittsville History Museum. It was well worth the two dollars to rent it on Amazon. That's all I'm saying. It was great, perfect time of year. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, late last night, around 9:15 p.m., I began to hear what sounded like a voice coming from the basement. I was the only staff member on duty, um, and this is from Anthony Rapino. I'd already made sure the building was clear of patrons, and I'm always sure to keep the door to the basement firmly locked. As soon as I managed, uh oh, as soon as I managed to convince myself that I had imagined the voice the first time I heard it again, this time I could swear that it said my name. I looked out, I called out back to it saying something to the lines of who's there? The museum is closed. You need to leave. I received no response for a long moment. And then I heard what was clearly the sound of laughter echoing up from the basement. At this point, because I was feeling more than a little spooked, I grabbed the heaviest object on my desk as a potential weapon. This is why you always have your tactical tomahawk close at hand. Um, and sheathed, because it will cut your fingers off. Um, uh, it was a volume of the encyclopedia. Not as good of a weapon, Anthony, I'm sorry. Um, then I followed the ominous noise to the basement door. When I reached the locked door, I could clearly hear someone or something moving around mere inches behind it. There was a slow scratching noise, like metal on wood. But when I opened the door, all I could see was the empty stairwell leading down into pitch darkness. Then I heard footsteps and shuffling coming from somewhere inside the darkness. I loudly announced that the museum was closed again, that anyone present would need to leave immediately, and that I was about to call the sheriff. There was no reply, but the sound of footsteps continued and started to head up the stairs and towards me. Bye -bye. 
That's what I checked the encyclopedia down the stairs as hard as I could. <laughs> Slammed the basement door shut and locked it. Then I phoned the sheriff's office. Deputy Weathers was dispatched and arrived less than five minutes later. He looked around the basement, declared that there was nothing there, and made a frankly disparaging comment about my masculinity before leaving. Oh, no. <laughs> it was only after Deputy Weathers left that I reluctantly went to retrieve the damaged encyclopedia that I noticed the symbols carved into a section on the topmost basement stair. I photographed the evidence and promptly left the building. I'm attaching a photograph of the carvings I found as evidence. So let me show this here. It's some like little sigils. I don't know if you can see it because it's like a 1990s photocopy. But some yeah. scary symbols. So again, what time period is this, is this supposed to be taking place in? Because he picked up an encyclopedia. Well, he is in a history museum and they are historical. Yeah, this history museum. Does, um, question. Hey, screw this place. <laughs> So, does um, does Emma know what an encyclopedia is? Do you know, Kirsten, what an encyclopedia is in the form of a book? Ma'am. <laughs> I know you're old, but... Yes, but I do you know, know what an encyclopedia is? <laughs> so, you did have encyclopedias and had to learn how to use them. Okay. In high school. Well, I should clarify. I was not in <laughs> elementary school like you apparently think. Um, does does Emma know what an encyclopedia, like, as far as a book is mm -hmm. concerned? They have to, they st they're still, like, taught in the curriculum. Okay. So they don't use, like, the online encyclopedias. I mean, they do that in reality, like, when they, once they know how to use an encyclopedia, like, that's the basic. And then they're like, okay, now okay. we'll use it, we'll just do the last Because I'm just Why picturing. Why teach them that? I wonder, like... In case they're at the Burkittsville History Museum. I guess. I feel like yeah, that's I teaching know. them to use an abacus, almost. Like. Like, well, I don't know. Square rule. Yeah. Slide rule. Because, um, like, our nieces and nephew, oh. like, if we told them encyclopedia, like, I threw an encyclopedia, they would be like, why would you throw your iPad? Or whatever. They would not know that it was, like, a book. They don't know what car keys are. So... They've never seen a car key. They literally don't know what that is. <laughs> anyway. <exaggerating>? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're significantly younger than Emma. Okay. They're like 10. They are like 5 to 10. Do, 5 do, to 13. I mean, the older one their has. parents just have money and don't have never had a car that has a key? They have had cars that had keys, but not as they've been alive. No. Yeah, my sisters are not like us. <laughs> not them poor bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Both of my sisters are like boss bitches, like sitting on top of the Good totem pole. I love that for them. You know what else yeah. I love? Getting off work at five o'clock, baby, is all I'm saying. Like... Look, I had to the phone at four in the morning, so I can't say anything. I'm on call all 24 oh, oh. You can keep it. I'm not interested. <laughs> Look, you keep all your numbers and shit over there, too. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the second incident report. Again, from Anthony. Um, I only got a quick glimpse of the individual from behind. It was a male around 6'2 in height. And it was difficult to tell because he was slouching very heavily. He was wearing a long, filthy coat and mud-stained boots. He moved with a loop, loping gait. Around two hours ago, at around 10 p.m., I witnessed an unknown individual trespassing in the museum. I was searching through the attic storage location, looking for anything that we might want to include in the upcoming Civil War in Burkittsville exhibit. When I felt something strange happen, the air in the room seemed to become drastically colder all of a sudden, and I was overcome with the sinking feeling that I wasn't alone. Then I turned around and I saw that, in fact, there was someone crouching down about five feet from me, rifling through a storage cabinet. His back was turned to me, but I gasped loudly when I saw him, and it was clear from his body language that he knew I was there. Again, Anthony invest in a tactical tomahawk you gotta get on a wait list um to get one but 
the sooner you're on it, the sooner you get it, is all I'm saying. <laughs> then I turned around and I saw that, in fact, there was someone crouching down about five feet away from me, rifling through a storage cabinet. His back was turned to me, but I gasped loudly when I saw him, and it was clear from his body language that he knew I was there. Sorry, I already read that part. Uh, when the stranger heard me gasp, he slowly stood up. Then he just walked away, not turning around or acknowledging me at all. He climbed down the attic stairs, fearing for my safety, and frankly, unable to move, I made zero attempt to pursue him. I huddled in a corner of the attic, clutching an antique bayonet, called the sheriff's office, and remained where I sat until Deputy Weathers arrived. At least he got a bayonet this time. Like... Come on. Um, Weather searched the museum up and down three times alongside me, but we didn't find any evidence of the man I had seen. We also didn't find any sign of breaking and entering. All possible entrances to the museum were locked when we searched them. Deputy Weathers then had the nerve to threaten to write me up for wasting police resources. Oh, After Weathers left, I went to check on the storage cabinet that the intruder had been looking through. It's mostly dedicated to oral transcription of 19th and 20th century folk tales, but also contains a few samples of jewelry and other apparel from the time period. After cross-referencing the cabinet's contents with our inventory, I can confirm that nothing was stolen from the cabinet. However, it appears that one item has been added to it. It appears to be a talisman made from sticks and twine Shaped roughly like a human figure. The same thing that was in those drawings that freaked me out so much. Objects like this have occasionally appeared around town, close to the time of an unexplained death or disappearance. I'm going to go home now. And I'm going to take a personal day tomorrow. Uh-oh. I just I, I just realized something, Miss Cryptographer. Okay. Um, one of the things... That doesn't look like any of that. Like, mm -hmm. do you, I feel like I saw this on something, but not what you're looking at. Okay, never mind. So why don't we hop uh, over and see. I don't know what see. that's from, but it doesn't look like this. This is what was in the front of his notebook. Um, so what, what is standing out to you in these journal entries, Kirsten? The brown pages were on top. I don't know if that matters. Maybe we're supposed to read it first. Um, no, I think this one, I think one is from the dad. Because she said, mm -hmm. you know, like, I'm surprised that this is still here. But I don't think, the, I think the other one was from the son. Mm -hmm. So this probably looks like the son stuff. But he has a lot more of this writing. Um, Which is different from whatever we figured out last Yeah, time. It's, it is. Um, so I it's guess like we, symbols this should time. Should I just like read? Because there's not as many. Do you think I should just read the brown one to start? Sure. Sure. Also, I, I hit little... those with the black light. And yeah. there is a hidden message. There is? Yes. Oh, does that have a thing on it too? Yeah. Ooh! Okay. Let me get one for Jeremy. Then we all have one. I didn't realize I had one too. It has a hidden message on here somewhere? It's on the last page on the uh, back. I think that's where it was. Screw this history museum. <laughs> like. Like close to the bottom. Miss me with these uh. dolls. I don't think dolls are scary. Really? <laughs> you really? Says, okay. So it's in the code too, right? You don't think yeah. that's scary? What, that doll? Well, I think Patrick's dolls are scary, and those are very much in the vein of Patrick's dolls. You didn't see any on this you white that. paper? No, I don't think so. I mean, there's also symbols on our friend here, but... I can't reach that, so if you want one, you can use that one. These are the pins they gave us at Gen Con. Is that the one I have in my hand? Yeah. I was playing with Invisible Ink last week. Oh. As we were making a game. Okay, so I guess let's start with this one since it was on top. Um, it does have stuff on the back. It has codes in it, but I'm not 100% sure how that all works out. Okay. 
It's strange to think that this may be the last time I come this far out into the forest after spending my entire youth running around this place in an abandon that, frankly, bordered on stupidity. Guess that's what happens when there's nobody at home who cares enough to keep tabs on you, and a tiny part of you wants to trip into the creek and hit your head on a rock just to show them what they that they should have. That's not intrusive thoughts at all. Uh, nevertheless... You gotta you... love the intrusive thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, in a few short weeks, I'm going to be a father. I've got my own family to think about, and being a father means developing a sense of self-preservation for your kids' sake, not for your own. So this Oof. is my goodbye to a place... Didn't work out for him. No. <laughs> Did not. Ever since I found this place as a teenager, I knew there was... Oh, sorry. So this is my goodbye to a place that's been very important to me for many years. Hopefully, I've once I've got what I have to say off my chest, I'll leave this letter behind me. I can close out this chapter of my life for good. Ever since I found this place as a teenager, I knew there was something special about it. Special doesn't mean safe, of course, but it does mean fascinating, especially for a precocious and impulsive kid. I stumbled upon this strange little hollow by total chance after I'd gotten into some knockdown, drag dragout fight with my mother and ran away from home. With nothing but a few quarters and an empty lighter in my pockets. The first thing that struck me when I walked in was that sound outside didn't seem that the outside sound didn't seem to penetrate the hollow at all. No cracking twigs or rustling leaves, only the sound of my own breath. The second thing that stuck out to me was the thing in the center of the place. It twisted, hollow stump of a tree with bark as white as maggots. I remembered Anthony talking about the Blair Witch being tied to a twisted white tree. Enter some code. Hmm. I went over to get a closer look. When I put my head on the bark, it was colder than I expected it to be. Then, my hand, not head. Then, I felt a sharp pain in my palm. I would managed to get the most wicked splinter imaginable and ended up bleeding all over the tree as well as myself. I started to feel numb and lightheaded, and I left. I got home right before sunset. That's one local taboo I've never once broken and that I never will break. Knowing about all the people who'd gone missing after staying out too long was enough to make me... Uh, that was enough to make me make that concession, at least. I used to go to the hollow a few times a week, always in the daytime. I'd write my journal and while away the hours... And while away the hours, which seemed to pass as a matter of minutes at the out there I sat. One time in the hollow, I wrote a note that I never intended to send to, to a girl I knew was miles out of my league. I couldn't help myself to throw it out or destroy it, but I was too mortified to keep it anywhere that another living soul might be able to find it. So I shoved it into the very back of the hollow hole of this tree. <gasps> Enter more. Oh, no. I know that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it still couldn't help us, though it did. For a short time, for a short time after that, it was, it was our spot. Her house wasn't the happiest place I'd been at the time with just staying over to deal with her whole ex-husband situation. I dare Rosemary to go and find notes that I'd write for her, and she'd find them and leave some of her own for me. I thought that if neither of us had a place to be happy on our own, I could make a place for us to be happy together from scratch. That's sweet. That is really sweet. Maybe it was naive of me to think that there was any place for joy in the forest after all the tragedy that's taken place here. Rosemary certainly started to think that after a while, anyway. But even though she hasn't come out here since high school, I still visited a few times just to look at the remnants of our old love notes and to occasionally squirrel away something new into the tree's hollow. I always liked the image of paper, the pulp of des desiccated tree, being buried within a tree that was dead itself. It looks like I like the thought of Rosemary and my love notes returning to Earth while our bodies are still in the real world alive. More code. But the recurring nightmare that I've started to have about this place lately has been enough to scare even me away. Almost every night I dream that I'm buried underneath that stump. I try to claw my way up, but I never make it to the surface. Ever since I started having that dream, I've felt stronger than ever before. Either way, I have a strange feeling yeah. that something. More code. I'm still ha going to have to go into the forest sometimes for my livelihood. After all, I've got a family now, and they're going to depend on me for a long time. But I can be careful. I keep leaving before sunset. I'll never bring any of this up to Rosemary. She shouldn't have to worry about it. Not when she's going to have a new child on her hands so soon. That's it. And then it says on the back, in black light, I'll see you soon, Dad. Like you said, and there's code. But it is, the handwriting on the back matches this other handwriting of the sun. Oh. Sure. Are you going to okay. do it in your angsty teenage boy voice? No. Um, I know you're out there 
see you in the forest all the time, and I bet that you're watching me leave this note for you right now. Who are you? Come on. This note's been on the path for days. There's no way you haven't seen it. Answer me or I'll call the cops and tell them there's a weird man following me. Answer or I'll stop coming out into the woods. And then there's code. What does that mean? Oh, okay. I guess they're writing to eat, back and forth to each other. Here. He's communicating with the freaking Blair Witch. Uh, more code. A bunch of question marks. Okay, so that took me forever to work out, but I think I get it now. And then there's a bunch of, a bunch more code. So he's just leaving random notes in the woods for the Blair Witch, and the Blair Witch is talking back to him. It's really freaking weird. Uh, We're just putting a number of these. Yeah, a whole bunch more code. I think he was, or at least I hope so. You know, I thought you were him at first. I'd see you in the forest out near where it happened, and I'd think about all the stories there are about this place. There's tons of evidence that time and space don't work out here like they do everywhere else. Even my dad would say so sometimes. Plus, I mean, if people can vanish so easily in the forest without any explanation, why shouldn't they be able to reappear, too? They almost never find bodies when people go missing, even when they search for months and months. I figured that might mean that people who die in the forest don't really die. I guess I was wrong, though. And then this is someone else's handwriting. That's a very interesting theory, Liam. I wouldn't be so quick to discount it. You know my name? Does it frighten you that I do? I mean, yes, but at the same time, you've had about a million chances to attack me or murder me or whatever since I've come out here alone pretty much every day for the past few years. Uh, you haven't done any of those things, though, which makes me think you might not be out to get me. But what are you doing then? What are you? Uh, I'm more of an absence than a presence. And more code. You're not the Blair Witch? Sometimes I kind of go numb and then just sort of act without thinking. Other times I thought, a thought pops into my head that feels like it's not even mine. Is that her? It happens the most often when I'm out walking in the forest. More code, more code. How long have you been out here? Uh, as you said, time works differently in the forest. And then more code. How did you get that? More code. Uh, that note was written before I was born. It should be nothing but pulp by now. As you said, time works differently in the forest. It really does. Things that should be gone are still there. More code. You know, I... Uh, you know, oh, no, this is a weird entity. Uh, you know, I heard your mother the other night. Your house is close enough to the forest edge for me to listen in. She sent you to your room like a child, all because you spoke your mind. She doesn't like when I talk about him like he's still alive. She says it's unhealthy. She doesn't get that the real unhealthy behavior would be to give up on him if there's any chance he's still out there. Is he? Is my dad in the woods? Please just tell me. A whole bunch more code. You know, he wasn't able to finish his last words to you before he choked on his own blood. But what he wanted to say was, thank God you're all right. How do you know that? I'm connected to this place and everything in it. And then more code. Okay, fine. Please help me find him. I'll do anything. I require no payment besides the satisfaction of reuniting a family. Whenever you're ready. And then more code down here. Uh-huh. Okay, so while you were doing that... Um, Did you find some, something in there? Yeah, if you make some of these pages, like... Uh, bounce the light off you can see where like there's code written in like in this, maybe an invisible ink i don't know but like there's like this one presentation the real story of the blair witch oh there it goes yeah it's like trees uh, around it yeah but it's like in the picture so it's like it's like here it's like sometimes it's i saw it over here it's weirdly easier to see like when it's not in the 
Oh yeah. You see that? You yeah. I didn't really see a whole lot of the side. This baby is freaking weird. These are creepy. Why are these like? Yeah, this history museum, my ass. Yeah, this is like a freaking. Anthony Rapino is a creeper. There's also like more on the back. Like, if that's where you're spending your time in that building with that shit in it, why would you be freaked out when weird stuff happens? Right. So that's the history museum pamphlet. Okay. Uh, do we want to see what's in the history museum feedback form? I'll sum it up. Okay. <laughs> Some really pissed off people drove up to go to the museum. Um, they got there an hour before the museum closed, but the museum was closed. But they could see an employee inside hunched over reading a book. And so Anthony's supervisor was like, I'm about to bust your mug, bucko. You need to come see me as soon as you get here. And then Anthony wrote this whole big thing in his like serial killer handwriting where he said he had been closing the um, museum two hours early and turning on the alarms because he was like going to a war reenactor group. Oh. Um, <laughs> and so this person that was inside, like, there's no way that they should have been able to get in there and move around. And so when he saw the feedback form, he didn't do anything about it because he's already, like, worried about, like, what the police think about him because of the other two incidents. Yeah. And so, like, he keeps seeing stuff in the museum, but now he's scared to talk to the police because the police are... The police, like, are telling him he's a little bitch baby and stuff, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, poor Anthony. Anthony, that's the name? Yep, Anthony Rapino, the killer. Poor guy. Um, so do you think this is It's? Could this be It's, or could it be He's? Your guess is good as mine, like. Yeah, I don't know what to base that. Um, at all. Like, yeah, the apostrophe is the only thing that's giving right. it to yeah. me here. So I'm just trying to think of two letter words that have an apostrophe something. I'm. Two letter, three, two letter words, apostrophe something. It is that. No, because this is one. I think this is one letter, one the two letter. brackets yeah. together. Oh, okay. So then that is I'm. Maybe. Yup. Do you want to just write straight on this guy? Not yet. Okay. Because I'm not confident that it's I'm. I know, I'm like, I need a pencil. <laughs> okay. So if that is I'm. Like the, we don't have much to go on other than. The two brackets. But it's weird in different handwriting. So like, it looks like two brackets here, like a square. Mm -hmm. But in this one, I don't see anything with two brackets. I don't see anything at all with two brackets. I see squares. Does he have like an uh, actual Does square? he have like circles and stuff all over his? Uh, like, do you see this circle guy right here? Yeah. No. So there's two different codes. Way to make it even harder. <laughs> yeah, there's no circles on this one. Not like that. Um, but this thing does does have that whatever that is on it. In fact, is that just this? No, but it's close. The first two words are the same. I'm I'm the Blair Witch bitch. I think Maybe. is what that says. Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, time roller. Hey, time Happy roller. Wednesday. Welcome to us staring at the pages <laughs> trying to decrypt something. We are working on um, <laughs> a particular Blair Witch. Nothing surprises me. On the last one, there was like, like something. Let me think all the way through this. 
on the two. So we're trying to solve puzzles. Any help that you have with cryptography is always appreciated. Look, there's like pressure now that I got the last one. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> We were just talking about how you've been militarily trained on how to do this. <laughs> um, where is that? No, it would be shitty. Never mind. So he says, answer or I'll stop coming into the woods. And then the person responds with this. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? And we get this. And I'm pretty sure this is Liam putting these question marks here. Yeah. Okay, so that took me forever to work out, but I think I get it now. And he responds with another question. We don't know what this response says, but Liam's response to that says, I think he was, or at least I hope so. You know, I thought you were him at, at first. Does there is there a three letter word above that that has the same letter at the beginning and end? Like dad? Like the word dad. Not in this response. Oh, this blows. Oh, here. Is this dad? This could be dad. I don't know. It, okay, because look, there's like word, 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 comma, dad. Let me see if that works. <laughs> Let me see this real quick. Sure. Maybe it says Liam. Ghost. I mean, simply using context clues, this is probably no, right? Are you the Blair Witch? Question. No. Two letters, period. Yeah. So that's probably an N and that's probably an O. Okay. Is, do you think that's the same letter as this, or is that different? I think is this. That, I think this is the same letter as that. As that is yeah. that the same too? I think it has to be. Okay. I think if if we're it, if you, you can't you can't make a code like this and expect people to decode it if like the <laughs> the angled line is just slightly different for two <laughs> different letters. supposed to figure this one out. Reddit. <laughs> OMD. See, this is what's throwing me off. I don't think this is I'm. If this is the word dad. It's okay. Because this will be some letter OMD. I don't think it, I think that might not be the word dad. I don't think it's the word dad. So, but does that make this weird letter an O? But if we're right about I'm and no, then this is I'm not no something in O something. I'm not? Is that a three letter word? Could that be not? Maybe. Not. Knob, knob sucked with a K. So. It's here too. 
I'm more of an absence than a presence. Not, not a witch, but a... Or not a... So that says not. I'm not... Hmm. <laughs> so that like backwards K. Uh, would you like another Bev? We have beer. We have bubbly. We have DP. I drank almost a liter of wine last night. That's a lot of wine. Oh fuck. Uh, like, got home from Utah at 4 in the morning. <laughs> I took a 20 minute nap, but it's like later. Oh, okay. Got home from Utah at 4 o'clock in the morning and then went to. Do you need more ice? No. Okay. And then drink a liter of cola, a liter of wine. Well, you know, I slept for like 4 or 5 hours and then I worked all day and then I. <laughs> invested in a sh new show I was watching. So. What show was it? It's called New Amsterdam. It's what? like a medical drama. Oh, okay. But it's interesting. Would you like for me to take that and put it in the recycle? Um, Are you still working on it? Would you like me to take your other one and put it in the recycle? Get it out of your room? It's not hurting anybody. Okay. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. And there's nothing on like the computer pages, maybe? Or is that just the moms? I think it's the same thing that was here last time, plus the new... I think this is the only new thing that was on here. Okay. Um, I'll check, but I don't... Everyone's comments on that neighborly set are really starting to piss me off. Yeah. Is there anything, like, from the la from last week? Like, do they use things from week to week? Oh, well? yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look through this and see if I can find anything that would. Okay. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident that that's I'm. Because if that's the case, then how did you get that I something, right? And also here, that would make this in I in. Okay. Okay, so we, okay, so this is an I. Four letters. <laughs> We've, oh. we figured out four letters. So there maybe. is some, there is some writings in this from last week. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those pens are way better than this piece of garbage. So there's like, there's three sources are few in between. So, some say the accused may have been hanged from under those trees. And then it says, crazy stuff. Why did Anthony never tell me about any of this? So that's the same thing the dad said? This is like the writings just in this. Yeah, but the dad said something very similar to, why didn't Anthony tell me about this? No. And... This one says, however, the men who made up the child's first search party were not as fortunate. They were found tied together and stabbed to death on oh. a large rock. And it says, stabbed. Have to research more about this. Oh. And then there's some like... Uh, some from last week, like the last week's code that I can't read without thinking more. Um, <laughs> there's a little bit more. Like in the backwards page. letters? Where to find out more? I guess the Shrutisha still is my best bet. Yeah, the backwards letters thing. It is interesting that Liam, his Liam Kent's book is a tree. The, it's a tree. Oh, that's neat. Let's put that together. What he taught me in case I forget. When is this going to come up? Uh, can I see the 
history museum brochure next to you, Kirsten. So what was another word that you had figured out, Jeremy? Just no. Uh, I'm a no, is it so far? But uh, you had another symbol that you thought you knew the letter? What the letter was? No, I was just pointing to some of these where it's like these would be I and it. Yeah. Like here. I think this is it. So let me see what this T looks like. Let me see. Okay. And this... No, that, that doesn't work. So in here we've got something about the Blair Witch and in big letters the question is she real and then there's coded writing underneath it which I thought maybe this that would be yes but this last word is an I something so if that word is that wouldn't make sense could that say yes she is no Boy, this is boy. Many believers and skeptics alike have taken the pilgrimage to Fair Burkittsville to ask this very question. While you'll find a wide range of answers among those who live and work in Burkittsville, history tells us that the earliest residents of this area certainly believed in her. Where Burkittsville now sits was once a town known as Blair. Although the town's residents fled the area in the late 1700s, it wasn't until 1824 that Burkittsville was officially chartered, and the rest, as they say, is history. Burkittsville, a not so civil war, first Monday of every month at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and meet outside of Burkittsville History Museum. Anthony does that. And then there's something underneath it. Oh. Y'all, this is hard. And there's two of them, because there's this whole other one over here. There's a whole separate one over there. I mean, it's possible we don't have what we need to decode both yet. Uh, what were the questions that were specific throughout by the end? Uh, the name of who he was talking to. Okay. Well, the back of this one has this code. But the dad is writing in a different code. The back of that has this code? Yeah, where it says, because it's his, oh, I'll see you soon, Dad. Like you code. said, something, something. Is there something in here that in there that his dad said that that might translate to? I don't think so. Just my train. I mean, we're one quarter of the way Do there. you think this could be an A? I'm um, more yes. Not a because if the square, if the brackets is an I, then what other single letter could that be? I mean, it's going to be this, right? If we can figure out what these four letters are, this is going to be the name of who he's talking okay. to, probably. Okay, and that's the circles? Yeah. 
circle, and then... Can I write on this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I think these things go together. Is this the brackets, and then, like, this, like, little, this guy? I think that might be an A. Yeah, so is this the two brackets? So yes. M, A... No, I. I, A. Is this Liam? Yeah. Okay, so that, pen. so the circles is, oh, yeah, you need a pen that, like, writes in English? Yeah, thanks. Um, I mean... <laughs> oh, wait, okay, so this is a C. This letter is a C. Occasionally. Because this is an L. Did you figure out a word already? Yeah. Because of you and your brilliant work. Stop. Okay. So we've got... Oh, look at you, Kirsten. So, does the dads coordinate to that code? Here, Kirsten, I've got it drawn out. Uh, I think you're writing on the one that it's drawn out on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here. <laughs> What's this? Boom. Thanks. So, the dad is still writing in his old code. In the old code, yeah. Okay, so occasionally, and this is in response to do things, things that should be gone are still out there. So this has to be a D, right? It's like funky little B, A N, or could it be a Y? No, it's not a Y. That's a Y. Yep. So this is a D. And that would make sense. And occasionally, something and occasionally. Occasionally, I might. So, if I can find the thing that matches, like you said, Dad. You know what I mean. Uh huh. Like something that would go along with it. You know. Okay. I'm gonna find another small one. <laughs> see what we can do with this. What did, what did you what did you say you think the backwards D is? I don't know. Okay. Oh, the backwards D is a D. Really? Yeah, I think so. D. I wonder if this is like. Okay, so for this one it says, this is the dad. I stumbled on this strange little hollow by total chance, getting away from home. No, uh, when I was in it, there was no cracking twigs or rustling leaves, only sound of my own breath. The second thing that struck me was the thing in the center of the place. It's twisted hollow stump of a tree as black as white as maggots. I remembered Anthony talking about the Blair Witch being tied to a twisted tree. I felt in my gut that this was the same one. Oh, gross. As white as maggots. It's very descriptive. Yeah. Do you want me to pull up the, the Good thing job, again, Kirsten. Kirsten? No, this is a different one. So this is yeah. one that you have to like individually oh, do okay. Because it's not. It's dumb. Okay, so this is in. Sure. We're just like backfilling all the letters that we know already. In. Uh, 
M is the two stick things. three circles. Yes. Hey baby, what's going on? Oh, hey, what's going on, Dakota? She thinks she's going to get a treat. Oh, is that what's going on? I'm sure that's what's going on. So this says, I'm connected to this place and everything in it. Living, this has to be and, right? The T is a D. Oh, that's different than what I had. Oh, no, I, it's not. Okay. It's just written sometimes better than others. Okay. Living and something. And... Living and dead. Okay, so this is an E. That makes sense. That makes sense. E, 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 E. <laughs> That's an E? Okay. This has to be between, right? B, E, T... W. Okay, so if that's a if that's between, okay, so this has to just say somewhere in between. So this like ang angry eyeballs. Where did I have angry eyeballs? My other message. Okay, living and dead and. Does that make this an S? This has to be an S, right? Somewhere in between. Living and dead and somewhere in between. I don't know why there's a comma there. The comma just has to be part of the letter. Possibly. Can we write down all the words we know at this point? Oh, you know what? We've talked right through ads. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the oh, well. Heaven? Apparently. Oh. Well, <laughs> How's yours coming, Kirsten? I figured another one. Um, I couldn't bring myself to throw it out or destroy it. It was so mortified to keep it anywhere that another living soul might be able to find it about the note that he uh, never intended to send to a girl. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I shoved it into the very back of the hollow of this tree. Rosemary asked me to get dinner with her at the Silver Moon the very next day. I know that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I still couldn't keep but feel as though it did. So the Blair Witch brought them together? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jeremy. R S T U V W X. You're a much better artist than me, so I'm gonna let you draw these, Jeremy. Oh really? Okay. Yes. And I'll show you what they're really supposed to look like. <laughs> 
Okay, so this that I've just been drawing as like a capital L in cursive really looks like this. Okay, and, and what letter is this? This is A. Okay, and then this is B. Oh, Lord. This one's easier to draw. I don't know if I have C yet. We, we may not. I mean, we don't have everything. Maybe but... C. We do have D. This is D. Just like kind of T. This is D. Oops. <laughs> and it looks differently sometimes. So you see how sometimes here the, the T is not touching the T? Mm-hmm. But, or like how the lines aren't touching on this one, but they are on this one. But that's what the, okay, D, E. This is E right here. We don't have F yet. Okay. G, we do have. Um, this is this is G right here. This four with the two lines. Okay, now this right here, you see this thing that looks like a scary face? Uh-huh. This next to it is H. Okay. So it kind of looks like a disconnected lowercase a, and then I think the comma is part of it. Yeah, I think you're right. Which is fucked up for them to do, is all I'm saying. Um, okay, I is these boxes. Meanwhile, Kirsten's over there just translating away. <laughs> you guys are translating away? J. I don't think we have J. Okay. Um, oh, wait, we do have C. C is this. C is um, this letter right here. Okay, so J. Living and then somewhere. I don't think we have J yet. Nor do I think we have K yet. Okay. L is the circles. M. This, the M. Yep, that's right. It's like two crosses going in different directions. But they always have long, they're always long. Um, N, we have, the, the N is like a, a cross, but the, this is slanted like this. Mm-hmm. O, we do have, um, this is O. How fun is this to watch on stream, y'all? I'm so curious. <laughs> <laughs> o, P, we do not have. Q, we obviously do not have. R is, um... This is R. Oh. Kind of, it reminds I'm me of your is. first cup of coffee in the morning. S is... Um, oh, it's got a little thing sticking off this side of it? It does. Too. It does. And then S is uh, this. Shovel. It is a shovel. T... I don't think I have a T. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, okay, so this is T right here. It's this line and then the upside down backwards K, which is not scary at all. U, I don't think we have yet. V, we do not have yet. W is Yeah, we the, do. Living. Oh, okay. So this is, that? yeah. Uh, oh, Okay. Um, w is the scary face. So it's like this right here. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like a W. 
And then Y, Y is really interesting looking. It looks like this. Man, we've already almost solved this whole puzzle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna write on this. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I think we can get most of the rest of this. Here, Karish, like, I'm gonna right. steal this pen yeah, from you if that's sorry. okay. Okay, so which one is the first? Uh, I know you're out there. Okay, let's start here. I know you're out there. Okay, so this is I'm, right? Uh-huh. I'm. Okay, this is in, does it say I'm not? Yes. Uh, that's uh, V. V E um, R. I'm not very. Okay, so we know this says L. Does this say talkative? We know this letter. This letter right here is a T. Yeah. I can't see what. So this right is a K so. in this case. Okay, I wondered. Because that means the one I was looking at spells like then. I'm not very talkative. So do you want to write down what this K is? Uh, yeah. K, 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 K. Easy. Easy. <laughs> My alarm is about to go off. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm not very talkative. What does that mean? Okay, so I know we have this letter. This is A. Uh, that is C. Is this N? Yes. Can you... So here, I don't know. Uh, that matches what we have for O, right? So here's you. Oh, and then this says, can you understand? It has to say that, right? Are these letters matching up? Is that T? Is this like... Tell. T a D, yes. Can you understand? A N D. And then this letter is. Uh, that is T. T. And then this guy with the comma on the end. Uh, H. I S. Can you understand this? Okay. And then C. What is this? I know we have this. Uh, C. This, oh, wait. The, like, the little nine? The one that looks like a oh. nine? The, like, M. Oh, God. This says, come mm -hmm. on. Uh, in? No. T R come on try a little so this has to say harder right is that an H try a little harder that's right uh -huh. do we have D yes yes we have H A R D E R all those letters yeah, uh, yes I and then we said this is K right I know you can do it. Right? Mm hmm Okay. So that's to me sure I worked it out, but I get it now like this like question mark. This. Ooh we're talking to the Blair Witch! Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Uh, is this an L? No. What is it? I never can remember what this damn letter T? is. Is this H? That. That's it. What? <laughs> C 
Oh. Clever. Very clever. Oh God, she's like charming him. This is not gonna go well. Okay, I've got, I've got them all done on my end. Oh, do you? Yeah. Great, just in time for me to have to hop off onto my other thing. <laughs> Jeremy, keep working through that. Y'all work together. Okay. Please. Listen to me just being a demanding bitch. Do you wanna read what you've got, Kirsten? Yeah, so um, he starts out by saying, uh, I remember Anthony talking about the Blair Witch being tied to a twisted tree. I feel felt in my gut that this was the same one. Then he talked about being in the hollow um, and shoving a note from Rosemary into the hollow, or to Rosemary into the hollow. And then it's like, uh, Rosemary asked me to get dinner with her at the Silver Moon the very next day. I know it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I still couldn't help but feel as though it did. And then it says, um, I always like the image of paper, the pulp of desiccated tree, being buried with the tree was dead itself. I like the thought of rosemary's and my love notes returning to earth while our bodies were still on the real world alive. Death doesn't always mean finality, not when love remains. And then it says, um, ever since I've started having that dream, I felt a stronger pull to the forest than ever before. Was I even going out there of my own free will at all? Either way, I have a strange feeling that if I even visit the hollow again, I'm not going to be able to come back. <gasps> oh my god. If I ever visit the hollow again, I won't be able to come back. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So, um, I don't think he did. Oh my gosh. Um. And then there is a little bit of y'all's thing on the back of this paper. Okay. Um, what the hell is this? I don't think we have this. Yes, that's it. Here's some time check. Anymore. It's 8 o'clock. Are you okay on time? Yeah, I'm good. Sounds like Stranger Things music. It does. I feel like that's intentional. Oh, okay. Smart. All right. So we're supposed to figure out the name of the person that he's communicating with. Do you want to just skip down to the part where it says the name? <laughs> do, you, do we know where that is? You're not the Blair Witch. Oh. Uh, do you want to put that um, put that in between this in between us, and I can catch these couple of items. Sure. Yes, we've translated this one already. <coughs> okay. It says this right here. Uh, where was this? Where it says, these? I'm more of a presence. It oh, says, okay. Uh, not shit. What does that say? Occasionally. Oh yeah, we didn't get that whole. We got another one. Okay, good. God, how do I even? <laughs> Here it is. Okay, housekeeping has been done. What I want to know is whose fingerprint is this? Is this Liam's fingerprint? Can we fingerprint this grease stains? But do you know who else has like constant grease stains on stuff they touch is Anthony Rapino. Mm. Okay, so this is the one that says.
guard my reach. <laughs> okay. Your father must have been very proud. Can I borrow that pen real quick? You okay. can just write it on there with your purple pen. Okay. It's okay. I have P. We're not grading your form, I promise. I am. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> what does P look like? This O with two L's. An O with two L's? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what I was looking at. I think he was, or at least I hope so. You know, I thought you were him at first. Oh, that's all of this page. I don't know what the like, faster way to do it is, other than like find all the same letters and write them down. Is I, that what you did, or did yeah. you find like a faster way to? No, basically, you know, just matching. Yeah. Okay, so things that should be gone are still out there. And he says things and occasionally people are still out here. What? <laughs> what? Uh -oh. I bet people like just hopping on our stream were like, what the absolute <laughs> fuck? Is it looks like we're right streaming uh, SAT or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do appreciate oh, those. Oh, fuck streams. off. Jeremy? This says I'm not finished yet. Of course it does. What does? Oh, ew, ew, <laughs> ew! The message they got left left for Anthony. Oh, this is gross. This poor kid. He just misses his dad. It makes me really sad. Uh, is there another spare piece of paper? Yeah, what? Um, look, you got a whole stack right oh. there. Oh. <laughs> Duh.
Okay, so he says, um, is my dad in the woods? Please just tell me. And the witch says, if he was, I could help you find him. I can't stand to see a family torn apart. Huh? This bitch is mean. You know, he wasn't able to finish his last words to you before he choked on his own blood, but what he wanted to say was, thank God you're all right. Is she real? You know she is. And then, where to? Into the woods. Written down here next to, uh, where Burkittsville now sits was once a town known as Blair. Although the town's residents fled the area in the late 1700s. Where to? Into the woods. Um, now, although I hear her, sometimes I feel the blank. She seeds into my heart. Can't you? The something? Compulsions. Bull. <laughs> so, you're not the Blair Witch? No, although I hear her, sometimes I feel the compulsions she seeds into my heart. Can't you? I would think it would say feeds, but it definitely says seeds. I feel like that's real wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal this for just a second, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> oh, my word. found a name but it's a weird one is it Anthony Rapino because this no. looks a lot like his handwriting Boheen which seems like I'm mistranslating something but I'm pretty sure I'm not Boheen yeah B-O-H-I-N-G it's written here underneath presentation the battle of Burkittsville a not so civil war meet outside Burkittsville history museum Okay, so the kid says, I, um, okay, fine, please help me find him. I'll do anything. And the witch says, I require no payment besides the satisfaction of reuniting a family whenever you're ready. And he responded, tomorrow night. Oh, no. Ugh. He's going to die. <laughs> oh, this poor boy. <laughs> So where did you get the name Bohing? Right here. B. Do you care if I borrow this? No. Why is it? Okay, I feel it. B. Oh, right. B O R. I think this says boring. Oh god. Okay. That's an R? Yeah, that's an R. Okay. B O R. Well, it made no I... sense, that's oh. why. It says Anthony's thing is boring. Yeah. <laughs> but we. <laughs> like me? Well, now, 
anytime something's boring, it's definitely Bohing. You're like, Jeremy, we need to go see your friend Bohing, Bohingian Rhapsody. So did we translate all these yeah. words right here? Right here. Okay. You know she is, and where to into the woods. And what's crazy is I looked at this all with a black light and missed it, and Kirsten found it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do it twice. Did you do this, Jeremy? No, I did not. Okay. I haven't got to that yet. I got stuck on Boheen. <laughs> okay. So here, you want to write this down? Sure. Okay. It says... I... Wish I... I wish... I wish I... D... Jesus. <laughs> it's hard to see in the trees. I wish I D Jesus. I wish I did... Didn't... I think this is about to say I wish I didn't know. I don't want to come know. I wish I didn't have T wish I didn't have to oh fuck was this about to say I wish I didn't have to us do my laundry <laughs> mom's such a bitch no I wish I didn't have to it's hard okay look right here like okay like, use the pen, okay, and you'll see, like, the S. The S is the shovel, okay? Uh -huh. The word that starts with the shovel. What's that second letter? Is it an A? I can't tell. But it's followed by an E and an S. So S blank E-S. S W E S apostrophe S. She's. Is that an H? Like the, it looks like a, looks like this with the comma at the end of it. It might be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's she's. But that doesn't make sense, phonetically. I wish it didn't have to. Period. She's. Oh, okay. That does make more sense. She's T. She's the only again, it's in the trees and it's hard to see, so we're gonna skip that word. W H She's the only I'm assuming that's gonna say she's the only one who who can I have a name oh do you okay she's the only one who can blank me <laughs> C no H uh, she's the only one who can help me she's the only one who can help me okay Kirsten what you got for us <sighs> Um, sometimes I go numb and then just sort of act uh, without thinking at the times a thought pops into my head that feels like it's in my own mind. Is that her? It happens most often when I'm out walking in the forest. She appears in many different ways. What's your name anyway? You can call me Carver. Oh! How long have you been out here? To you. And that's all I've got so far. And he made a carving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it look like this? Is his name Carver on here? No. That's Liam. That's Liam. 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 I am still figuring out the rest of the story. You can call me Carver. Or you can call me Al. <laughs> this is a lot Just easier. Just don't call me out. This is a lot easier to see 
like Kirsten was saying, if you just let the light hit it instead of letting this hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Because those trees are reflective, man. Yeah, just let that light hit. Oh, I don't like that Blair Witch symbol. It scares me. So why are there trees around the real story of the Blair Witch? Tell us. The Blair Witch is in the forest. Oh. Poor Anthony. Someone wrote his presentation is boring. <laughs> About the Civil War. Okay, and you got... Uh, you translated this? Oh, no, I missed that. Okay, let me see if I can get it into the light. <laughs> that one's rough because of what it's written over the top of. Yep. Jeez, a mole. Okay, this one is actually... Okay, um, W... Fudge. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> w E we question mark. C Bro, I can't C O Okay, could Okay. Couldn't rather. E V E oh, okay. Couldn't even K M E N <laughs> T. Sorry, couldn't even mention. This just looks like it says BSB, and I'm like, the Backstreet Boys? We finally have a timeline. It was the Backstreet Boys who did it. <laughs> no. D. I couldn't even mention Dad. Why you? They didn't want it to be May ever again. That's why That's they did it. That's fucking in sync. D. Shit. Okay. You didn't. Fudge factory. I can't read. You didn't it. fudge factory. <laughs> This is taking. Oh, sorry, I stole your pin. Okay, so it's like an O with two two. It looks like kind of like a plant. Is it B? No. I mean, I think. I think everything in here was written by Liam, and it's mostly him bitching about something, so... Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. How long have you been out here? As you said, time works differently in the forest. Do you like my gift? I found it for you in a very old hollow. How did you get that? I have my ways. The note was written before I was born. It should be nothing but pulp by now. And then the thing on the back of his dad's notes, he said, I'll see you soon, Dad. Like you said, death doesn't always mean finality. Yowza. I'm a little nervous. He killed himself, kind of. He's like, hey, Carver, I'm going to hang out with you now. I'm a little nervous about the, the direction that this is going to go. <laughs> so do you think we're going to get another voice recording? I don't know. What, what were the all the questions we have to ask? We have to answer. Just one. Uh, oh, who, what was the who, name? who was he talking to? Okay. Carver. So can we share the screen? Yeah. I never can remember how to do that. Okay. So now we go to the tip line. Ugh. 
message. Carver. Carver. And look, like the buddy has like little stab marks all over it. Uh huh. So like, again, as far as like game components go, we don't have any, we've got a lot of games. <laughs> We don't oh, have yeah. any games with uh, components like this. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Okay, so we have another voice recording? We do. So we're going to have to do the whole rigmarole. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to mute ourselves to make sure this doesn't bleed through, and y'all will hear it at the same time we do. So we'll be right back. You're not supposed to say that. Or... Won't be. Be right back. Scream. Yeah. scream reference. Carver? We end up talking with someone who calls himself Carver. I recognize the name. Oh. Something like 20 years ago, a boy was taken into the forest. Or maybe he wandered in. I don't know. Um, when they sent people out to look for him, they found all kinds of strange carvings on the trunks of trees. People in town started to call whoever left those markings a carver, and then they were stuck. God, I wish Tex were here. Or that I could get her on the phone for more than five minutes. She never understood why I stayed in this town. I guess I understand where she was coming from. Son of a bitch. Maybe we're clearly dealing with someone twisted. I mean, who knows what he's done to Liam. But what he could still be doing. <sighs> Before I think about that, I'm going to lose it. You know what? This will help us get the search parties going again. Sheriff Lanny has a personal stake in this now. When his uncle was sheriff in the 90s, he oversaw the Carver case. I'm going to call Lanny's office right now, and then we're going to round up anyone who will follow me into the forest. I'm going to go back in there, and I'm going to find Carver. And when I do, I'm going to make him feel the same misery and pain that he's put my family through. She definitely... Okay. She has some crazy mom shit going on. So, Kirsten, uh, our mic wasn't on oh. when you dropped that little bomb on us. <laughs> So how about you just say that a second time? I think that this mom is going to become the next Blair Witch somehow. I think she's involved. Like, I don't think she's involved, but I think that something's going to happen where she is, like... Possessed. I don't know. Something. Or, like, her grief turns into... Crazy. But I also think that the sheriff, like, the uncle of the sheriff just happened to be over the same thing as this sheriff over the same like Carver person. Mm -hmm. No, bitch, that shit runs in the family. It's a little sketch, right? Real sketch. Yeah, there's Dakota. definitely something up with the sheriff. I don't know what he's trying to cover up, but he's covering up something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... 
this is very different than the last one we did, and I like this one a lot better than the last one we did. Uh, the Moon Summit Mystery. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of puzzles in this one. Yeah. I could do with a little less crypt- cryptography and a little more... Oh, we just went to ads. Oh. Fuck. Well crud. <laughs> Sorry, Kirsten. Why We're holding you hostage for... I'm having Three so more minutes. Fun. Oh, okay. Are you? Because I was <laughs> yeah. going to ask if you were having a good time. Dude, th- and like. Because I feel like we. Cryptology. Bring, <laughs> I feel like we bring you over here to sit here and take tests. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I'm just like, this is so fun. This is so cool. I love every second of like figuring this shit out. <laughs> okay, good. So that's probably why they made me a cryptology because I'm like, she likes it until she has to speak the language. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't like it anymore. Um, would you tell us if you didn't like it? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I would be a lot more passive about it, I think. Okay. Because, like, Lily, at one point, I was like, Lily, is that okay? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, would you tell if it's a, if it's not? And she's like, no. But it's okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, while we're on ad break, she has her big, like, ceremony on Friday. Mm-hmm. She bought her, like, because they have to wear, like, a fancy dress. Mm-hmm. And so she went and bought her dress and her other stuff. And, like, they carry their clothes in a bag. So she got a bag to carry it all in. And very excited for her. What's that? What is the uh, event? called an endowment hmm. yeah it's a i don't understand but it's a bfd like it basically just means like you're a full-on like One. member yeah. of the church i was gonna say it feels like she's joining the church but officially. as it's like it's like uh you're joining as like an adult like you get to go oh, do okay. stuff it's like now. becoming a member yeah, yeah. so okay. she so like i i give it the equivalency of like when i took my first communion yeah yeah Okay. Um, very, like, I'm like, I don't understand it, but I don't have to understand it, so to I'm not going to tell you I you. don't understand it. Yeah. yeah, I'm just, like, really excited, because she had to, like, get interviewed by, like, the state bishop oh. and, like, all of these people, and I'm like, is it, like, intense? Like, do they, like, ask you, like, personal questions? And mm-hmm. shit? Like, what are they saying? So she sends me a list of the questions that they Oh, my asked. gosh. I was like, mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder how are they judged? I don't think so. It just seemed like a very she was really jacked about it. Yeah, and right. you can't buy your clothes until they like approve. Yeah. Like a green check mark here. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Rubber stamp. Okay, so we're back. So we hit ads um unexpectedly. <laughs> so I'll say again before I realize we were on ads. I like the Blair Witch a lot more than I like the Moon Summit Mystery, but I also like cryptology. I so, okay. I do a lot. So you do like this? So I like being able to be like, I was, this one, the like weird one with all the circles, I was like, yeah. this, I can't, this is too much. <laughs> I feel like this, this is one. too much. I'm going to do the other one. And like, that was like, oh, okay, cool. Like once you get it, it's easy. <laughs> But you guys are, like, killing it over there. Like, okay, well, this weird one means L. I'm like, how did you get L out of that? <laughs> like, and she just, like, brought, like, in her brain was just like, well, this one seems like it might mean I'm. That one might mean this. It's like the Wheel of Fortune or some shit. Yeah. Um, Basically, yeah. It, it's like, how does autism work in your brain, Wendy? But like this, um, I kid. Uh, when I read the Da Vinci Code, you know, there was like all of those like codes and stuff in the Da Vinci Code, and I hit them every single time. Like, I could not put that book down. Like, I took a day off work to finish reading the Da Vinci Code because I started it before bed, read all through the night, and then it was time for me to go to work, and I still had like 40 pages left. So I. Like, call in, and I'm like, I need the day off, I gotta read. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I just, I, I love it. I love this stuff. It's really cool. But Jeremy's right when he says, it's like, you come over here, we're like, giving you tests. <laughs> <laughs> I might see that way on, like, on camp, they're like, what are they, 
Yeah. What do we do? We're all just like crouched into our. <laughs> Well, I feel like the last yeah. one, despite the fact that there was a lot to decode in it, too, yeah. there was more to do and read. Yeah. And this one was a lot of sitting here and just crunching. Coding. Yeah. But it didn't, I don't think it took quite as long. Because that one, we like read so every much single stuff. thing. And yeah. it's a lot of stuff to read. This one was like, because even when we started reading it, like, I was like, do we want to read these before we decode them? Because we're just going to have to read them again. You raise valid points. So I was like, yeah. but also I don't know how to decode this. So yeah. <laughs> there's that. We, yeah. um, maybe next week, if there's more puzzles in there and you know there's going to be. Yeah. We just decode and then read. If we can figure out how, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but based on our experience, at least, I've feel like they all should be a little shorter now because yeah. the first one I think is longer just because Setting it has it to up. set everything up yeah. I think that was true of the last one too yeah the first one we did because I got it just for like our at home date night I was like mm -hmm. we're not going to stream this we're not going to do that and then the whole time we were doing it I was like we should be streaming this right now like we did the first one on our couch that's one thing I really like about the Hunt a Killer series is that you literally can do it anywhere. Like, we're doing it at our game table. It works out really well. We did the first one on our couch. It also worked out yeah, really well. There's, like, a whole lot of, like, pieces in a way that, like, you have to move things around. It's mostly just, like, paperwork to switch back and forth. Like, yeah. A yeah. Yeah. Like, we so. could just sit down and, like, just put this on a coffee table if you're doing it with several people. Yeah. Which is fun. This is also scary. I think you feel a whole lot more scared than we do. This is why I sleep with an axe. <laughs> Are you seeing me? You, like, you make a noise and me and Jeremy just look at each other like, really? Yeah, I don't like, I don't like, I don't You're like, oh, this is scary. And I'm okay. like, mm. I will, so like. It is, it is creepy. It's a hell of a lot more creepy than the other one. My old roommate, Adam, used to make fun of me because like, I would watch, I would watch um, like Freddy Krueger or like Jason, like those movies no problem. Like, no problem. Especially, like, Freddy Krueger. Like, yeah. never get scared. The movie Signs, to me, is the scariest movie ever made. And if I would come across it on TV, I'd have to watch it. And then, like, he would come home, and I'd be, like, covers pulled up and, like, crying. And he'd be like, you watched that movie again, didn't you? <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Because, like, things that could really happen scare the shit out of me. That's why I don't like things like Saw. Or, like, the movies where it's, like, people get kidnapped and then have to, like, yeah. other people like it's really like a fucked up in the head yeah i don't you I mean, know what i mean and like give me like claw hands really happen yes like the, we like were talking alien earlier invasions aliens are real i don't know if you heard the government I cannot confirmed believe <laughs> that jeremy <laughs> henderson just told me he wanted a divorce while we were streaming <laughs> this oh, like i was not prepared for that jeremy um <laughs> I don't really know how to process this info. Yes, of course, aliens can attack us. Why, and why wouldn't they? They're like, we're like the Florida of the galaxy. They're like, castrate the galaxy. Like we always say, castrate the US. They're like, castrate the galaxy. These people are dumb. And so, like, of course they would attack us. Have you ever seen The End of the World? No. <laughs> The YouTube no. video from, like, the early 2000s? No. <laughs> Even the ice glaciers melting, we are definitely going to blow ourselves up. Oh. <laughs> it's the kind of thing that made me have nightmares. <laughs> no, it, it's absolutely hilarious. And, like, I'll just be, like, I'll just, like, quote it in random conversation. And it throws me off when somebody knows what I'm talking about and quotes me back. And it happened to me the other day, and I was like, how did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> You, get, you need to send me a link because, I but it, I will watch it in the morning when I'm not about to go to bed. It's not scary at all. It's funny. Um, yeah. So anyway, like the Blair Witch could actually happen. Like this could actually, there could just be a kid killer in town. And yeah, so yeah, it's scary. Like, I don't like it. That's why I like the Blair Witch too a lot more. I still have it connected to like ghosts. Like that's where it is in my brain. And I'm like, oh. eh, it's fine. Like it probably is some sick asshole, but. Maybe he gets castrated at the end. Ghosts are also scary. Like, I don't want to watch a movie about ghosts or, like, read a book about ghosts because I will, like, lose sleep over it. If you haven't read The Great Divorce by C.S. Lewis, you should. Because it talks about ghosts. It's interesting. 
I mean, I've seen ghosts. I, I know they're real, and I don't want to make them mad. Like, all the ghosts I've seen are nice. I don't want to see, like, a mean ghost. But if you can have nice ghosts, like, logic tells me that you also can have mean ones. And I don't want a mean one. I don't want to read a book so about them. I'm southern right now in your accent. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, I was about to nice ones. I just thought I have. Some mean ones. I have. Like, <laughs> it, it's one of those things that, like, now I talk about it because it's funny, but, like, sure. for a long time I didn't talk to anybody about it because I was like, they're going to lock me up. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to lock me up and I'm going to throw away the key. So it was just like, oh, okay, that's a thing. But then when you're just like, yeah, there's this old man that lives in my house. <laughs> People are like, it's weird, Wendy. <laughs> the weird part is that you stayed. Yeah, Jeremy's like, did. I would have been the fuck. Yeah. My shit, Peace all out. my shit would have stayed, just <laughs> never seen me again. I guess again. it depends on if it's a meter or a nice ghost. Yeah, that's the thing. I was like, I never was no, like scared. <laughs> any any ghost, is. I'm gone. No. No, no. I, no. I don't think so. I think it depends, like, if I get, like, a real bad vibe, then, yeah, like, sage the shit out of that shit. That's different, yeah. But if it's like, that. oh, the guy's just like, you know, when I walk in, this old man just, like, waves at me, which I think is weird, but whatever. Like, it's not He never anybody. interacted with me. He was just there? He was just there and would walk around, like, doing old man stuff. Um, it doesn't help. I can't say this on stream. I'll tell you off stream. It didn't help. There was some stuff that had happened in the house in the past. But also, like, have you ever woken up and, like, Herc is... Like, woken up and you're looking at the door and somebody's, like, fiddling with it, trying You've... to, like, fix the no. lock? Like... Tell <laughs> me you the ever, Have you ever woken up with, like, Herc snuggling you unexpectedly? Yes. Okay. How did that feel when you woke up and Herc was snuggling you unexpectedly? I imagine it felt good. Uh, sort of. Please do not tell me this old man ghost was snuggling you unexpectedly. No, no, there was. A, there was a, I don't. There was a kid ghost. I have, too. yeah. And I woke up and I was sleeping on the couch and it was like sitting on my hip, and yeah, I could see, feel is, it. I could feel it part. on my hip, and it was drumming on the couch. No, I'm out. Yeah. Right. Right. No. no yeah. I'm out. No. No. Y'all, don't I'm interact you. with me. Don't interact with me. Oh. It was like watch out, watch out, watch out. It was like the same to me as like. It was very comforting when I woke up. I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> like... And I knew her when she lived in this house, but I didn't know any of this crap was going on. Yeah, because I'm not sharing this with you. <laughs> I wasn't sharing it with anybody, but I sure as crap wasn't sharing it with Jeremy because I didn't want him to think I was crazy. Ooh, that's the first time we heard the sound. Oh, hey. Hey, Cosmic Beat. We're just hey, sitting Cosmic here talking Beats. about ghosts. So help us. Uh, do you believe in ghosts, Cosmic Beat? Do you think they're real? And follow up question: Do you think they're scary? We're doing the Blair Witch Project, um, and so they think I'm nuts because I'm like I believe in ghosts. We don't think you're nuts because you believe in ghosts. We think you're nuts that you believe in ghosts that interact with you and then hung out with them. She says scary, yes, real, no, or they. I have no. Idea. They said. See, hey, that's her. my take on it. Like I'm not afraid of the like slasher killer Come movies. Here. But the creepy, like, no, supernatural stuff, even though Kirk. I don't really believe in it, freaks me, freaks okay, me out. Okay, Herc's getting it back there. Oh, supernatural stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, mine only, like, I don't really like scary oh, things girl. anyway. Oh, I have enough anxiety in my life that I don't need a reason to have more. <laughs> I don't do haunted houses. I don't like, like, no. the, fake, the fake saws that they put in those fucking forest it's, ones. It's the freak fake me saws. Out. It's the fake saws. It's I the know. worst part. I know. Yeah, no, uh, I don't do any of that, and I don't like scary movies, but my mom has been, like, just turning on scary movies after scary, she loves them, like, addicted. Yeah. But now she's been turning on ones that are, like, filmed in, like, I don't know, forever, like, black and white. Oh. And so oh. it's, like, The Fog, the original, and I'm like... Oh, the, the original Fog is good. Not scary. No. <laughs> no, but a lot of... Watch out, because a lot of those old black and white ones will sneak up on you. And I watch The Crows, or The Birds. The, or birds. the Birds. Oh, yeah. Not scary. See? Weird. Mm. Weird, not scary. Okay. But I don't like the psychological thrillers. Those jack me up. Like, I, I wrote... What is that uh, What is that show everybody watched about the zombies? Um, the Walking Dead. dead. The walk, I liked The Walking Dead until... I walked along The Walking Dead until it was... Um, like, the governor got involved, and he was, they were, like, feeding regular humans to the zombies to watch them fight it out in the 
like it, it just got really weird, mm. like psychologically weird. Okay. And I was like, I can't do that. So I am not scared of over the top ridiculous things, but zombies scare the absolute dark shit. I, I'm like, so what's your zombie apocalypse plan? Death, immediate, seppuku, just not not taking that on. I'm not taking it on. <laughs> I'm running towards it. That's it. Like, you, they made that movie called, like, Zombieland, I think it was. Mm -hmm. It was like a comedy. Like, it had yeah, Woody yeah, Harrelson. Yeah. yeah. You know, the beginning, like, before the credits even start, he's just, like, driving in circles and they're running. I saw that much of that movie and then had nightmares that night. <laughs> so. Oh like, I don't, I don't mess with them. I used to, I used to have one, which is insane. You used to have a zombie, a, yeah, or a zombie apocalypse plan. Oh, uh, I was like, a zombie? did you get the one off the like the CDC website? No. Oh. Uh, it was at the chamber. Like when I worked at the chamber, they're in a building that used to be a bank, and so our storage in the basement was a bank vault. Yeah, yeah baby. And there's all kind. There's food in there. There's. Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> like, there's all kinds of stuff stored in there, and you could go in there, just shut that vault up, and live for months. Does, is there air? To. If there's air, there I would is. think that there would be air that would. But, like, if there's a zombie apocalypse, how do you know that, like, we're going to, that the power grid is going to stay up? I realize that we have the best and most stable power grid in the United States, but, like, Outside of maybe whatever supply in the White House. But yeah, like, I mean, you, you would know... bring stuff in there, we, like... Like an oxygen mask? No. There's air, like, it seeps through because it's an old building. Yeah, I mean, it's it's literally connected to the Reed House. Like, it's not... But it's a vault. It is. So I imagine it's... Tight. Tight. to get into. Yeah, that's air. why you were going in there, right? Yeah. What if it is airborne? And the person that goes with you gets the virus before you get in there. And then you are stuck in the vault with a zombie. Dead. You're dead. <laughs> That's why okay, you take the you tomahawk with you. That's my, why the tomahawk comes. Do you want to hear my zombie apocalypse plan? Yes. I have three. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Tell us, ex-Marine, what are your plans? One, okay. I have, like, the most ridiculous one that will never happen. I have, like, okay. a, a, an okay, decent one. And then I have a third one. So my <laughs> most ridiculous one that ever happened is based on a cartoon where where they put treadmills around the entire outside of the building and so they're always just like running but can't reach it. Like that's that's funny to me. So <laughs> So the zombies would get on the treadmills? Yeah, they're stuck on the treadmill and okay. I'm stuck in the house. As yeah. long as you're maintaining the power grid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my second one is um, That is the most legitimate plan I've heard so far. I like that yeah. one better than the vault. Thanks. Okay, the second one is to become is like like hardcore, like I go out. So one of my best friends, his best friend from high school, is like hardcore, like planner, like a, oh, prepper. Is like a prepper. Yeah, like he built his own house in the middle of the woods on a bunch of acreage, like away from people. Go find him first, and then go with him, who knows how to like cut a fish and shit. Which I don't know how to do any of that stuff and hunt. Do you know where his home is? Vaguely. Okay. Have and you then, contacted him to talk to him about, like, hey, just so you know, like, I your house is you. my safe yeah, space. Yeah, And I need to know how to get to your house. I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. But Richard is planning on going that way, too. Because okay. Because eventually it's going to be, like, really cold up in the, like, where he lives because he lives in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. He has to survive outside and that kind of shit. No, you can't. So he'd come down. And then my two Marine best friends and I were talking about how we'd all go to the Appalachian Mountains, like, that same area. Mm -hmm. Telco Plains, like, up and then up towards that. Find a mountain. cave. It's 68 degrees year round. And we would leave, like, tie off, um, like, ribbon on trees so that, like, if they found it, they would know, like, the direction that we went. Mm. Third option, death. Just come us Okay. Uh, if you tie off on the trees so that the rescuers know how to find you, the zombies also know how to find you. Zombies don't have brains. Because they ate them? No, because their brains don't work. Yeah. I'm just saying. They're, they're like probably. back. I mean, they zombies do, they are do like want to down eat brains, to. But... Yeah, the zombies are like back down to like the most primal like walk, see, hear something, eat that thing. That's what they're. They're back down to like real fucking dumb. Ask your friend if he's got room for two more. Okay. We we have shit. We bring <laughs> shit. Like we're prepared. We'll talk about this off camera because like this is not about scary know, stuff like, anymore. Of, I know a lot of people that have like go bags. <laughs> you know two more. <laughs> 
Especially, <laughs> dude, especially with, like, the, like, COVID and shit that happened. Yeah. Like, people yeah. are ready. It, it, it's not because of the zombies that we have those. Right. But, right. Well, but, no, because right. I'm running towards them. Like, again, just. Yeah. I, I mean, the reality. I'm I'm coming. The, the, real- <laughs> the reality is you probably, yeah. It, it's, it's like the, the idiot dudes. And I know plenty. We all know plenty. Yeah. I, I could fight a wolf. I'd win. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Dumbass. You couldn't. You couldn't find a little girl and win, bitch. Like, don't yeah. lie. Like, Though, I no. think it makes sense. It might make sense to go up towards like Alaska, where the grizzlies bears are, and like they would kill the zombies if you could like survive. If you could survive without them. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, I always thought. Like, obviously, Have you seen that show alive. I don't know if you've seen it. No. Oh, okay. Um. Were they eat? Were they in a plane crash? No, alive uh, is. I think it's called alive. It's like where they're stuck in the. Um, they're stuck in like a remote place in Alaska oh. or up that way, and then they have they have like they could bring like three things with them, and they have to survive for as long as they can. I have watched that, and, and there's like multiple people, but they can't mm-hmm. interact with each other. Right, they're too far away from each other. To yeah, interact. see, like I like being alone in the woods for like seventy two hours, ma- max, max. That's just if I've got a good book, you know. I don't want to be alone in the woods for more than that. I think it would start messing with me. It would. Absolutely, it would. It'd be like being in solitary. Like. So I have a friend that was just on Naked and Afraid. Like, her episode is getting ready to air. And I'm like, you are Jungle Woman. That's, that's like That's amazing that you did that. And, like, Discovery, like, she, like, at one point had mud on her face. And they've made that, like, the image for the season. Yeah. And I'm like, I know. Yeah. We cheered together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and now she's like, oh, naked and afraid. Like, go girl. Like, I'm about it. Love that. Yes. <sighs> okay, oh, so man. next week. Next week. Another Blair Witch. Round we will three. continue to hunt the witch. I have like just this is fidgety hands. Oh um, no. Yeah, I've been working on that for a couple days. Just like tore my bit cup in half. We suppose. <laughs> We don't use this one. I only use this one if it's a dire emergency. Oh, okay. Um, but I am going to elicit help from Corey to level my printer. Okay. Anyway, nobody cares about this on the internet. Yeah. So uh, next week, we will be back with more Blair Witch. On Friday, tentatively, after um, Time Roller told us on Monday about the Greek monsters on Horrified immediately had to purchase it um it had to be shipped it was not in stock and so it allegedly will be here on friday so if it does get here that's what will be on our table on friday if not uh something spooky okay <laughs> maybe horrifying i love that game so much yeah we'll find something <laughs> and we we do still have a couple new ones we need to go through we'll hit them up in november um Mm -hmm. but uh uh also by the end of this week i believe we will have eat the reich and we may be pulling that out for spooky season at some point we yes for our extra life or for spooky season or for something for sure we've got some friends that are interested if you want to watch us pretend to be vampires dropped in behind enemy lines during world war ii with one mission, drink all of Hitler's blood. Yes. Then tune in for Eat the Reich. Made <laughs> by yeah. Card, I will say Card Monroe. Uh, uh, Rowan Rook and Deckard. Rowan Rook and Deckard. Um, my friends from Gen Con. <laughs> Did I tell you this, Kirsten? <laughs> one thing I love about Gen Con, everybody there just kind of meets everybody else where they're at. Yeah. 99% of the people. There were some dicks there this year. We don't talk. We, they can't sit with us. Most people, though, they just meet you where you're at. And you've got a lot of folks there that, like, get overwhelmed or overstimulated. And so you'll see a lot of people just, like, in corners or, like, sitting by themselves or, like, doing some kind of coping mechanism to just kind of cool off. Um, I am that person. <laughs> that person is me. So I was sitting outside, and Jeremy and Daniel, like, it was, like, the first day. And there were, like, how many people there? 70,000? Seventy-five thousand. Okay, it's a lot of people. I like to be around two people at a time. Seventy thousand was a lot to take on, and so we had like all of our games. Jeremy and Daniel were taking them to the car, and I just went and sat outside, which is like sitting by myself. Like, 
I, I like, I, I want to go home. I want to, and like, I didn't have a medication. So like, that was not helping anything, you know? Yeah. And there was this man sitting next to me and I just started talking to him. Just, what do you do? Like, he's like, oh yeah, you know, like, I make these RPGs, blah, blah. And I just start talking to him about how I don't play RPGs because they're hard. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's interesting. La, la, la. He's just like talking about it. And um, so he, like, we just, I had like little gift bags for Elevation for the people that play tested our games. I gave him one with like an Elevation Games lanyard. Like we became like BFFs. Aww. And so then like later on that night, me and Jeremy were on, um, we're on stream like showing our haul and I'm like yeah so I met this man he makes RPGs thinking it's just like a little like mom and pop shop right because like in talking to him it was like a little mom and pop shop and so I'm like the name of the company and I'm like trying to find it on my phone and Jeremy's like Rowan Rick and Deckard and says it and I'm like how did you know that because they make a lot of really good RPGs oh no <laughs> They're like really big, and I was just sitting here talking to this he, man. He like, probably loved the fact that you didn't like know who he was. No, and he was cool as shit. And he was like, "Get on our website, get RPGs, text me, like or like you know, message me, tell me when you're gonna stream them." Because I'm like, you know, like we stream stuff, and like I'm gonna get on there, and I'm gonna like freak out, try to be creative on the fly with an RPG. As you've seen, I can't do accents, I can't do shit, and he's like. We'll all get on, and he's British, and he so he has that British humor. And he's like, "We'll all get on, and we'll cheer you along." Aww. And I was like, "Oh, that's really nice." He's like, "I mean, we'll tell you that you suck." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I would love that." Close enough. I would love. Yes, new best friend, and then Jeremy's <laughs> like, "Oh my god, <laughs> we have their books at home." <laughs> like, oh shit. I had no idea. So anyway, they have a new RPG coming out called Eat the Reich. That's awesome. That's <laughs> do awesome. you want to do it with us? Yeah, sure. Okay. We've got uh, a couple game friends who are like RPG people. I feel like you'll get along very well with them because they're also oh. both very outgoing and like personable and they have just like that. Hello, this <laughs> is me. We're best friends. Um, Love it attitude about everything yeah okay it should be here friday i think so yeah coming to a table near you within the next week i believe based on the last update i got from them okay very exciting so um yeah we'll be we'll be cracking that out sometime soon and we have other spooky games we'll be hauling out but tune back in next wednesday to see what's happening with the witch with Carver. Carver the witch. That's Liam. This is Liam. And he's got <laughs> stab marks all over him because Carver's got him. It's terrifying. Um, let's raid somebody. Okay. <coughs> Let me see who is online. Um, and then we can go over there if that's okay with you. Sure. I just got a notification Olympian was going left. Oh, let's go see board gamer Steph. Okay. Um... All right, we'll see y'all next week. Thanks right. for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, sorry for the Incoming raid. End. Yeah, let's go see board gamer stuff. We love her. No, look, if you see the little thing that looks like a parachute, mm -hmm. booyah. And then you just say, yep, start raid. Here we go. She's got a lot of folks in there with her. Well, she's about to have some more. She is about to have some more. Nice. See y'all next time. See everybody. There we go. Boom.